folks, closing time. Oh, well, look at this shot. You'll never sink this in a million years. That guy thinks he's the next Fats Brown. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, hey, Joe, how come he gets to stay? Because he asks nice. Now get going. I'm off to Mulvaney's. Anybody for a beer? Do you see what I mean? You see what I mean? An impossible shot, but I made it. The right stuff, the right draw, perfect position. And what do I get? Fats Brown, Fats Brown. Well, I'm sick of it, Fats Brown. I'm the best pool cue on Randolph Street. Me, Jesse Carter, and everybody knows it. Fats was good. So he was good. But he's dead. Do you hear me? He's dead. He's been dead for 15 years, but every time I turn around, I hear about him. That was pretty good, Jesse, but Fats was better. Fats was the best, Jesse. Fats, Fats, Fats Brown is dead. If he was alive in this room, I could beat him. You'd see, I'd give anything, anything to play him one game. I'd show you who's best. One game. One lousy game. At your service. Jesse Cardiff, pool shark. The best on Randolph Street. Who will soon learn that trying to be the best at anything carries its own special risk. In or out of the Twilight Zone. You call? You're dead. Not really. As long as people talk about you, you don't really die. As long as people speak your name, you continue. The legend doesn't die because the man does. This is impossible. Nothing's impossible. Just some things are less likely than others, that's all. This isn't a rib. You're him! You're James Howard Brown. See, my friends call me Fats. Now, uh, I know it's a shock, but you called me. I didn't call you. But I, I didn't mean that. It, oh, it's just a lot of talk. I was only. You like to play with fire, but you don't. You don't like to cook. Is that it? You know that you're not as good as you claim to be. You know deep down inside that you're second rate. Hey, hold on. Strictly second rate. What are you afraid? Look, I come a long way. I don't like to be fooled with. I meet guys like you all the time. A little knack, a little skill, a little style. But when the heat's on, you choke. Excuse me. You've never seen me play. How you know I can't beat you? It is possible, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's possible. But you ain't gonna do it with your mouth. All right, fat boy, dead or alive, I'll tell you something. You may be some tin god, but I think you're just a big balloon waiting for somebody to put a needle in you. Well, I'm that somebody. This is the needle. So you play me, then? Rack them. Steaks? Steaks? Yeah, there's something to make the game a little more interesting. And you're all of it. Hey. Use your brains, kid. What good is that to me? And what? Something to make my long journey worthwhile. Name it. You said that you'd give anything to play with me. Anything. What are you talking about, pal? Just what kind of stakes are you talking about? Life or death. What? You beat me, you live. You lose, you die. It's interesting. It's interesting to see how much faith you have in yourself. 
You don't want to be the best bad enough, kid. When I was your age, I'd have jumped at the chance. But then again, I wasn't second rate. Hey, hold on. You say I don't want to be the best bad enough? You're wrong. Do you know how many nights I slept on this table? Yeah, I did that. I made a deal with the owner. That way I could practice after the place closed. I haven't seen a movie in years. I haven't read a book. I haven't dated a girl because it would take too much time from this table. That's a lot of talk. You'll never know till you risk everything. Stop pushing! Wait! Don't go. Then you accept the terms. Life or death. Rack the balls. I had this specially made for me in St. Louis. Rock maple. Ebony. Cost me six hundred dollars. I've been making a living from it for about twenty-five years. What's the name of the game? Nine ball, eight ball. Rotation. Get out of here. Nobody plays that. I do. What's money? Not up to it? I'm up to it. I know the rules. 300 points. You toss for that break? Sure. Call it. Tails. Change of mind. It's my break. Two balls on the rail. A perfect break. No advantage given. Now it's your turn to scatter the balls. Something with that. Looks like it's sewed up. It'll cost you if you don't connect with the one bone. Did you see that, fat boy? <laughs> Funny. No man can rise to the occasion when his life is at stake. Two ball, two points. Not bad. It was great! You're like all the others. You keep trying to bring me down. When I was a kid, there were plenty of guys like you. Guys that were good at things. Like music, basketball, arithmetic. They'd do everything they could to make me feel this high. But you fooled them, didn't you? Right. I knew that somewhere there was something I could be good at. I had the eye for it. What happened to it?
you scratch. And that'll cost you points. Good shot. Young yet, my friend. Very young. Shoot. Rackham, please. Fifteen ball in that pocket and a perfect break at the same time. Every ball on the table to win. I only need one of them. You know, Jesse, there's more to life than this pool hall. I mean, it's not right for you to keep yourself cooped up here like this. I mean, you ought to get out a little more, see what's going on outside. You didn't become the best by sitting on a park bench. You spent plenty of time with a cue in your hands. Yeah, of course I did, but I still had a life. I mean, I've been to places where they never even heard of pool. I know, I know. I, I, I don't look the part, but I've made love. I've watched sunsets. I've swam in the ocean. And when I think of all the, the beautiful, the beautiful things that there are to do in this world, it hurts me to see you rotting away. Because that's what you're doing. You're rotting in this dark room. You're lying. You're trying to distract me. That's low. You did that on purpose. 
You made me miss! A little gamesmanship, a little pressure, and you come apart. That's kid stuff! To break your concentration, you go wild. If I've waited for this moment, sink it, and I beat you. I become the greatest. If you sink it. You're sweating. Why are you nervous? For reasons you probably wouldn't understand. Oh, I understand. It means a lot, doesn't it? Even to a dead man. To have your name up there as the unbeatable champion of all time. Carries a certain satisfaction, yes. I'll give you a shot at my crown, Jesse. But only if you're willing to stake your life on the game. Couldn't be just a friendly game, could it? Well, I take him as I get him. It's not just a friendly game to you. It's a life or death thing. So I acted accordingly. You see, the champions and the legends serve a purpose. They're an incentive. They're a challenge. I don't need no challenge. Everybody needs a challenge. The great musicians, they're better. They're better because of Bach. They're better because of Beethoven, Mozart. See, I'm just a pool player. But I'm the best. You are the best. What are you waiting for? Get it over with. You said life for death! No, you really didn't expect me to kill you, did you? You said if I'd won, I'd live. If I lost, I die. And you will. As all second raters die. You'll be buried and forgotten without me touching you. See, if you'd have beaten me, if you'd have beaten me, if you'd have beaten me, you would have lived forever. You tricked me. No. No, you just have to be tested under pressure, that's all. Any man can be a marksman if the target doesn't shoot back. Wait! It's not over! I haven't given up! I'll practice. Night and day! I'm still alive! I can be better! I will be better! You're from me again, fat sprout. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime. And departing, leave behind us footprints on the sands of time, on the earth as we know it, and in the twilight zone.